Yeah, so welcome to another video. Um, I bought something. Um, I bought an Ouya. And if you don't know what an Ouya is, um, uh, it's a gaming console. It is based on Android and it was conceived, uh, or it was actually built in 2012. Uh, going down in history as one of the most successful Kickstarter projects ever. Uh, it uh, At one point, it attracted a, a new um, follower, what do you call it, contributor, every six seconds or something. Uh, it was uh, hugely successful before its release. Um, it aimed primarily at casual gamers. Um, it is an Android platform, so it's it's basically a telephone without a screen, um, of course, again, there was a lot of hype about the system, um, and, uh, it, it, it didn't live up to that hype, uh, at all, uh, so much so that, uh, today, uh, the platform is completely dead, uh, although I think there are some developers still, uh, it, it was aiming for indie developers, so for people to make games and, um, and sell them on the Ouya platform, uh, one of the, the it, it was a completely open platform, so the hardware is easily accessible. You were actually encouraged to open it and 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 fidget with it. So in that sense, it would it it's a little bit like a retro Pi or uh, or an Arduino platform. The software was open. You were encouraged to root the system, so to become like the super user and uh, and mess around uh, in it. Um, Android, of course, is uh, a Linux uh, kernel-based uh, operating system. So, uh, and I wasn't there during the uh, rise uh, and fall of the system, of course. A few days ago, I saw one again at Mark's in action, and I thought, why don't I buy this? And uh, it's pretty cheap, uh, but for a reason, because the platform is dead. It doesn't mean the hardware doesn't work. Uh, because it does work, uh, and I bought this box for 35 euros, so it's it's definitely not expensive. But the first thing that I ran into, and you should know this before you get excited about getting one as well, is that you cannot create uh, an Ouya account anymore. And although I haven't experienced it, it does mean that if you get a new Ouya um, you won't be able to set it up. Uh, you won't be able to set it up at all or not correctly. I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't tried yet. Um, the thing is that I bought this first and then I found out that I couldn't, uh, make an account anymore. Uh, Ouya was sold to, uh, Razer. Razer is a Chinese company, but Razer didn't, uh, buy the hardware platform. They just bought all the, you know, the shop and the website and the name and all that, and they were going to integrate that into their bogus system, which doesn't exist. So basically, uh, Ouya is destroyed. Um, the thing is that as soon as you go to the website to create an account, you are sent directly to the Razer website. You create an account there, but uh, a Razer account doesn't allow you to log in on the Ouya platform. So if you got an Ouya now uh, and it was new and it didn't have an account on it and you didn't already have an Ouya account, then basically you're hooped because you, there's nothing you can do. Okay, so let's just open up the box because it's still a pretty box and uh, it's got a little slidey thing. Um... And it looks kind of neat, doesn't it? I mean, uh, controller, these two gray bits, they pop off, and they have these two batteries in here. Pretty soon after, I mean, there were a lot of hardware problems. Uh, many people had problems with their Ouya not uh, starting up. The, the power supply uh, would cause problems. The controller isn't the greatest. Uh, the button layout. It's very cute that it says Ouya, but it's very confusing that it has the A there. Uh, there is a, a mouse pad here. You can, you can like, operate a little mouse uh, going to and fro. It's got two 
uh, analog sticks and a D-pad. Nothing wrong with those. Uh, it connects to this thing um, uh, uh, by way of Bluetooth. But the chip that does that inside there uh, is the same chip that also does uh, the wireless communication. So if you... I mean, it's it's always a bad idea to, ha to have a gaming device use wireless. But if you do that and the same chip does wireless here and has to communicate with the controller, there's going to be a timing problem and you're going to experience lag in this. So if I just take this out, it's a very small, cute little box. Um, on the back, you'll have uh, the power supply input, you'll have an HDMI output, you'll have an, an, an Ethernet port, which I use to give it um, internet access. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, this is the HDMI. I don't even know what this is. It kind of looks like a mini USB. I don't know. Um, and this is a regular USB, so you can you can stick extra memory in it. It's got a it's got an ARM um, CPU. It's got uh, NVIDIA technology uh, for the uh, uh, for the GPU. It's got a gigabyte of internal memory. Um, which is the eMMC kind, so it's it's pretty slow. Uh, but again, you know, uh, don't expect too much. It's it's like a beefed up phone, but without a display. So, but it looks cute. You know, it's another small gaming system, and I wanted to use. It. I, I, you can use it perfectly to emulate uh, NES games, which is what I'm going to do. I already have the RetroPie doing that, but why not do it with this thing? Uh, I also have uh, plans for running uh, Cursed Castilla on this, which is which perfectly runs on this. So uh, you know, it's it's just a fun little thing to have. Um, it's the on and off button on the top, and it has uh, like a cooling fan at the bottom. I I like the design. It's it's uh, it's pretty. Uh, underneath here, uh, I'll, I'll take it out. Uh, there's a. Uh like an HDMI cable, there's a power supply, and a little cover for the power supply. And that's it, a little manual, and, and that's the whole thing. It's the whole package. It's very simple. My luck was, uh, and I'll, I'll say that right now, uh, that this, for me, it I, I turned it on, and the previous owner had left his account on it. So I can log in. Uh, the system logs in under his name. Uh, it's uh, and I discovered this ten euros of credit on his name as well, which I don't even think I can spend. But uh, in that sense, I was lucky that I can use the system. If ha if his account hadn't been on there, I wouldn't have been able to set up the system. Uh, so be careful. If if your experience is different, if if you know anything about running the OUYA without an OUYA account. If that is possible, that would uh, definitely make me feel better. Um, uh, because I think I'm going to have to contact the previous owner and ask if I can have his account. I mean, as long as I don't log out, I'll be fine. But if, if anything happens, if there's a, like a... I don't expect any updates, of course, but if anything happens and I lose access to the account and uh, I may lose access to the to the system so um, if you know anything about that please let me know I'm, I'm desperate <laughs> to know uh, still I, I'm, I'm happy with it just because of the the tiny form factor it's a pretty thing you know it, it, it's it's gonna look uh, nice uh, in in five to ten years still and it's still gonna play like casual games uh, so uh, who knows what it'll be good for in the future uh, so let's have a little look uh, at what it looks like when it runs. All right, uh, this is it. Uh, it's running and uh, running pretty well. Uh, a couple of things I have to say. First of all, I managed to uh, create my own account on the OUYA. Uh, I couldn't do it through uh, the internet because uh, making a new account on the internet 
uh, puts you through to the uh, Razor website, and the accounts there don't work on your Ouya. Um, when I turned the Ouya on, I noticed that, uh, well, as I explained already, uh, that the previous owner's account was still on it. Well, it turned out it wasn't the previous owner's, but the the one before before the previous one. So the guy I bought it from was kind enough to uh, email the guy that he bought it from, and that guy was kind enough to change the password for me, and um, so and and he gave it to me so I could use his account. So at least I had an account. Um, but then having an account, I thought, well, if I log out now and try to make a new account and it fails. I'll always have the account that was on there already. So I logged out, I created a new account, and lo and behold, it works. So I now have my own account. And this is the uh, the Ouya. Now, it's all new to me, right? Uh, I have it connected uh, to the Ethernet, uh, you know, an Ethernet cable, so it doesn't do Wi-Fi. I also have an Xbox 360 uh, controller uh, connected uh, that is because uh, uh, one of the games that I wanted to play uh, that I'll show you here, I think it's under make. No, it's not under make. We've encountered what? Oh, sorry. Uh, just under play. Okay. This one, Expendable Rearmed. I saw this game at Mark's place. Uh, I saw that he played it with the Ouya controller. Uh, but there's so many versions out there, uh, and I I was only able to download two, neither of which uh, would allow me to use the analog controls. Uh, but let's just let's just play this game. You know, it's it's in my favorites list. I'm just gonna launch it, um, and and it works well. I I have to use the wired 360 controller, and that works fine. Um, there's no setup, no nothing. Just plug it into the only USB port that the Ouya has, and it'll just work. Uh, the the Ouya, the actual Ouya controller is is turned off even at the moment. So I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna load a game. This is my last game. Here we go. It's a twin stick shooter, so I'm moving and I'm shooting. This is such a nice game, this. I don't have a li uh, an un unlimited amount of shots here, so I have to be careful. I did a mercy killing. How did I do that? The... Oh! It's on auto-fire now? What's that? Oh, okay. How do I... Uh oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's going on? Just changed my weapons there. Oh, maybe I just walk up to it? No. I think I uh, demolished the uh, things here. No? Yes? I don't know what to do. <laughs> these green things, maybe? No, yes. Maybe these, those? No, yes. I don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. It's just, what's those green things? Leg it. I'm in it. It's it's two and a half D. Uh, I 
weapon out. I thought that was a... Uh... Oh, that's a grenade. Uh, this is turning into a, a yellow pass required. It's not a bad game, this. Yellow pass. Whoop. <laughs> How do I get the guy up there? Do I get the guy up there? Maybe I don't. Whoa. A mercy killing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. One out. Two out. One to go. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this. What the hell is going on? <laughs> All right. This game is played best with a twin stick. Uh, I have to finish the level now. I mean, if I don't finish... Oh! Keep going, keep going. Whoa! This game is on PS1 as well, uh, if, you, if you're interested. It's called Millennium Soldier Expendable. Uh, it's, it's on several other platforms, I believe, as well. But yeah, you really have to have a twin stick set up analog because uh, it's no use otherwise. I can't put it down. It's not too much fun. You. Wow, it's a pretty long level, this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, did I die? I died. I died again. Why did I die? Oh, wait a minute. Do I need a green pass, perhaps, to get up here? I'm killing the hostages. I don't think I, I should do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not paying attention to anything I'm doing. Bomb armed. All right. Well, this must be the end of the level now. What's going on? Jesus Christ. So now what? Kaboom! Oh, <laughs> I get it. That was smart. Set off the bomb, let the train go. <laughs> Yay, level complete! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I really like this game. And, uh, uh, of course, 
I'm gonna continue this. Save game. Yeah, save it there. Okay. Okay. Now, to get back, I just go like this? I don't know, actually. No, no, no. I don't wanna. Okay. So I quit the game. I quit the game. And there we go. And uh, uh, there's my favorite uh, Maldita Castilla on here. Uh, you can just find the APK file on the website. You do a side load. There's a, like uh, this is the like the main option screen. You go to make. You 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 press upload. It'll start a little FTP server, and with your PC in the same network, you can upload a file to here, and it'll just install. Uh, it's it's really easy. Um, uh, for some reason, uh, by the way. Uh, the, the people at Ouya do not like search boxes, so uh, you can't search for a title. You have to like flip through uh, endless lists of little boxes that you don't know what they are. Um, uh, but it 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 does work. As some some management stuff, notification system settings, all that. Um, and uh, and and this is your your play screen. So this is uh, some recent games. I don't. Oh, these are games. I I went on the website uh, in the store and I pushed a couple of games. I haven't even played these ones, so I uh, just uh, pushed these games to to my Ouya, and I just booted it up, and it said, "Oh, uh, a game's been pushed to your Ouya, and uh, I'm installing it." So it it it, it works really well. Uh, uh, I'm I'm actually. Uh, reasonably impressed and any game that you favorite that it ends up here and i don't know really what oh this you know i haven't really looked at these things yet but th that's that's the oh yeah there's not much more to it i suppose when you're a developer there is more to it but s as far as i'm concerned at this moment this is the oh yeah it's a really cheap system there are some nice games but don't expect any top titles you know you really have to look for the for the games and there's no support anymore for anything so uh, uh it's it's risky business the moment they turn off the servers the games that you have are the games that you have uh there's loads of games on here that don't work at all this duck game it says oh free but you go in and you, you can't really play it and there's definitely loads of other shovelware on here that looks nice but uh is crap uh but th there are a, lo a lot of games uh, but you just realize that half of Ouya, you know, everything that is Ouya except the hardware, has gone to uh, Razer, and uh, Razer make mice and keyboards and that kind of thing. And they tried to make the Razer TV uh, thing, uh, Forge, Razer Forge TV, something like that. Uh, I can't even find it. There were some reviews on it, and, and they're all old, and I, 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 when I tried to look for a place to purchase the product uh, i can't really and so i think that's a dead product but razor is still there i have to say though that i sent them an email about my account on the ouya and they were really really friendly and they really tried to help me but they said well yeah in the end they said well we don't support the ouya anymore so uh, goodbye uh, i kind of knew that but you know i thought i'd give it a try but they were really friendly anyway so um yeah, uh, don't look for any recommendations from me. Uh, uh, I'm liking it, that's all. Uh, and uh, I, I really only bought it uh, to play these two games, Expendable and uh, Maldita Castilla. Because, uh, oh, don't forget, um, uh, Kevin, uh, uh, down the rabbit hole, uh, Mr. Canada said uh, that uh, Maldita Castilla is also on 3DS. And I had a look, and it is in the uh, in the store. Uh, it it was published uh, on the Nintendo 3DS in July of 2017, so this year, and it's 10 euros um, with discount and 12 without at the moment. But you know who's counting? And I bought it, and it works fine. Uh, it, it's it's a little different. Uh, but not uh, enough to say, oh, it's not uh, Maldita Castilla, because it is. It is, of course, called Cursed Castle. Look for it on 3DS. Uh, so I now have two free ways of playing this game, one on the Ouya, one on the PC, and one paid game uh, on the on the 3DS. 
uh, all I have to do now is find a way to play it for free on the PS4, and I'll and I'll and I'll have it on every platform that I want. Oh, I can also play it on the Mac, of course, and I could play it on Linux if I wanted to, but I don't because I don't have Linux. I work with it, but I don't play with it. So, um, thanks for watching. That's it. My little bit about the Ouya. I'm excited. I like it. It's a small system. It's sitting under my desk. And uh, it's not in the way, and it works, and uh, I'm happy with it. So uh, I'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.